everybody. Miss Karen here from the Old Worthington Library. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to do a Waddlers and Toddlers. So what I would normally do at the library for kids who are walking independently on up to preschool. And today we are going to do something that I think maybe a few of you might be interested in. Does anybody out there like dinosaurs? Me too! So today we're doing stories about dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by saying hello. Are you ready? Hello, eyes. Hello, toes. Hello, mouth. Hello, nose. Hello, shirt. Hello, shoe. Hello, Tommy. Hello, you. I have a friend to get us started today, and he's going to sing a song with us. So let me introduce you to my little dinosaur friend. Say hello. The first song we're going to sing is I'm Bringing Home a Baby Dinosaur. And when the dinosaur roars in this part, I want you to roar with me. Can we practice? Ready? Say, roar! Okay, here we go. I'm bringing home a baby dinosaur. Won't my mommy fall right on the floor? I'm bringing home a baby dinosaur. You ready? Boy, is he noisy. Should we do it again? Let's try. I'm bringing home a baby dinosaur. Won't my mommy fall right on the floor? I'm bringing home a baby dinosaur. Roar! Boy, is he noisy. Say bye. Bye-bye, dinosaur. Did you know that dinosaurs hatched from eggs? Yeah, just like birds and chickens. Do a dinosaur flannel now, all right? And I'm going to bring my flannel board a little bit closer so that you can see everything that goes up. You see the dinosaur? Yeah, there he is. Do you see that he has a spot? All right, this rhyme is called Dinosaur Spots. And it goes like this. Dinosaur spots are lots of fun. How many spots do I have? How many are on there? One. Let's add one more. That one's blue. How many spots do I have? One plus one more. Two. Good job. Now add another spot to my knee. How many spots do I have? Two, we add one more. We have one, two, three. I love spots. Let's add one more. Where should we put it? Oh, how about right here on his cheek? How many spots do I have? One, two, three, four. Four spots. Let's make another spot arrive. Here it comes. Pop. How many spots do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So many spots. You made my day. Thanks for coming out to play. Good job. All right. We'll leave him up there a little bit so he can enjoy the stories too. All right. The first story I want to share with you is by Sandra Boynton and it is called Dinosaurs Bink It. You see what he has there? It's a nice soft blanket. He calls it his bink it. Dinosaur, oh dinosaur, stop stomping all around. The silver moon is rising. It's time to settle down. My big 
blanket. What's a blanket? Dinosaur, oh dinosaur, you have to go to bed. You should be getting ready. Did you hear what I said? I want my binket. Dinosaur, oh dinosaur, you fuss and fret and yawn. It's time to brush your dino teeth and put your PJs on. I need my binket. Dinosaur, oh dinosaur, I hear you sob and sniff. Come out and dry your tired eyes. Here, use this handkerchief. <laughs> oh, it's my blanket. Dinosaur, oh dinosaur, dreaming dreams unknown. Your smile makes me wish I had a binket of my own. Good night, dinosaur. Good job. Now, are you ready for your five little monkey song? Okay, I'm ready. This one is by Hap Palmer from a CD called So Big. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. They all fell down and bumped their heads. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So they thought, hmm, and thought, hmm, and said, Let's run instead. You ready? Here we go. Five little monkeys running on the bed. They all fell down and bumped their heads. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys running on the bed. So they thought, hmm, and thought, hmm, and said, Let's turn instead. You ready? Here we go. Five little monkeys turning on the bed. They all fell down and bumped their heads. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys turning on the bed. So they thought, hmm, and thought, hmm, and said, Let's jump outside. Here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the lawn. They just kept jumping on and on. Doctor told Mama, there's nothing wrong. Just let those monkeys keep jumping on the lawn. Let them jump and jump and jump and all fall down. Good job. All right, our next story is one of my favorites. This is Dinosaur versus Bedtime by Bob Shea. And it is from Hyperion Books for Children. Roar! I'm a dinosaur. Roar! Nothing can stop me. Roar! 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 roar. Dinosaur versus a pile of leaves. Look, here he comes. He's jumping. <gasps> Roar! Dinosaur wins. Roar. Roar, roar. Dinosaur versus a big sly. Roar! Roar, roar. Dinosaur wins! Dinosaur versus a bowl of spaghetti. Dinosaur wins! 
Dinosaur versus <sighs> talking grown-ups. Blah, 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 blah. Roar! Oh, no, run! A dinosaur! Dinosaur wins! <laughs> dinosaur versus bath time and toothbrushing. <laughs> Dinosaur wins! Look at those sparkly clean teeth. <laughs> now Dinosaur must face his biggest challenge. Bedtime. <laughs> Bedtime wins. Good night, dinosaur. Good job. All right, let's get ready for our jumping and counting song. We're going to put up our numbers. Are you ready? Can you count with me? Okay, here we go. One. Move this over a little bit so you can see it better. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine. What comes next? That's right. Ten. Okay, are you ready to do some jumping and counting? This is by Jim Gill. Jump, 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 jumping high are we? But we'll stop jumping while we count to three. One, two, three. Good job. Jump, 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 jumping even more. But we'll stop jumping while we count to four. Sticks. But let's stop jumping while we count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jump, 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 jumping, then we wait to stop our jumping while we count to eight.
have for you is called Dinosaur Stomp, and it is by Paul Stickland and comes to us by Dutton Children's Books. Oh, look at that. He's huge. I hear there's a stomp down in the swamp. The invites out, roar and shout. Big or small, a welcome for all. Come out, don't miss a party like this. Do you see him back there? Yeah, he is hiding. Oh. Don't stop to eat. Get on your feet. Don't get in a spin. Come right on in. Jump and prance. It's a dinosaur dance. Are you ready to do a dinosaur dance? Let's do it. This is called the Dino Pokey. And grown-ups, singing is a great way to help your child get ready to learn how to read because it slows down the language and lets them hear all the little individual sounds in the words more easily. And that's something that's very important before they can start learning how to associate sounds and letters is they have to be able to hear the sounds first. So we are going to do what we call a piggyback song where we take a very familiar melody like the Hokey Pokey and put whatever words we want to it. It's a lot of fun to do this, and you can do it with any subject you want. Today, we are going to do the dino pokey, all right? So first, we're gonna put our claws in and out. Then we're gonna put our teeth in and out. And then we're gonna put our tail in and out. And finally, our whole dino will go in and out. Ready? All right, here we go. You put your claws in, you put your claws out, you put your claws in, and you shake them all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. Now say, roar! You put your teeth in, you put your teeth out, you put your teeth in and you shake them all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around and that's what it's all about. Roar! You put your tail in, you put your tail out, you put your tail in and you shake it all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around that's what it's all about. Roar! You ready to put the whole dino in? Okay, here we go. You put your whole dino in. You put your whole dino out. You put your whole dino in. And you shake it all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. Roar! Good job. All right, that's all I have for you this week. I just want to remind you real quickly that if you are participating in the Summer Reading Club, which is all online this year, um, don't forget to record your time for watching this story time, okay? And if you are finished with your time and filled in all your circles on your timesheet, you can come to the library when we're open and pick up your very own book to keep. So I can't wait to see you again. I really miss you guys. Let's do our tickle the clouds and say goodbye. You ready? Okay, reach way up high. We are going to tickle the clouds. Now tickle your toes. Now turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye.
Goodbye, everybody. Take care.